Jill hanging out at a very good place, brand new Nash in Inglewood, getting a taste of the Pacific this morning. And I'm also uh, doing a bit of studying here and taking notes because this is an art form here, what we're putting together. Oh, sure. uh, we are at the Nash here in Inglewood, brand new spot here. Chef Michael Noble made the phone call to you, Chef Matthew Beatty, and you answered that call. Wasn't exactly a hard decision to make. When your mentor phones and says, listen, I'm opening my last restaurant and I need somebody to head my kitchen and I want you to be my guy, it was just a wee chef moment is what I like to say in the kitchen. Yeah, but you say yes to that moment. Okay, and you're bringing a little bit of your roots here to the Nash. Absolutely. Well, I'm from Victoria, B.C. originally, you see, and to me, cooking and the flavors of the Nash are all about having a little bit of a sense of place. Mm -hmm. So the dish that we're going to have for you today is actually a taste in the Pacific. So we've got Dungeness crab, scallops, and octopus that are all from Mother Nature's Pacific. Beautiful. So you started it off here, and you're also working with a beautiful canvas, might I add. For sure. This glass was made especially for this dish. Exactly. Well, I actually moved to Calgary from the Okanagan, and I had these plates custom made for us by a glass artisan who specializes in using recycled glass. Gorgeous. Yeah. So Should we lucky. get to work? Please. Okay. Can well, we? Okay. I have a part in this job, but I think I get to watch first. And you're not going to make a mess, right? No, I promise. I, I, it's going to be You'll perfection. Be good. It'll really. be awesome, right? I, I so promise you. Inside the ring, we've already got the crab salad, which is a little bit of tarragon bound with the Dungeness crab and just a spot bit of creme fraiche, uh -huh. a little bit of uh, thinly sliced uh, scallop. This is, comes from Policum. And what you're going to do, Jill, is you're going to take that siphon okay. and you're going to shoot a beautiful avocado cream just on the top. Do I have to shake this or this is ready to go? Like your money maker? Yeah. Uh, well, maybe that's a bit awkward. Want me to. Really. <laughs> okay, so how much is too much? Like do full. I go gently? Right in the middle. Uh oh. There Oops. you go. That's awesome. That's totally <laughs> good. That's a is lot. That, that's that's too that much? is officially sufficient. <laughs> okay, I think there we, we go. Get, we get my, the wall train at this point. There you have it. I'm better at tying the chicken, obviously. So now it's time to pull the ring off. Okay. And then it can just go across the way. Yeah, for sure. And then the moose should just hold very gently oh, and then beautiful. Some cascade over. It probably wouldn't look like this if you were to serve it. Maybe not, hey? Oh, and I think if one not. of the apprentices did this, then maybe we would uh, consider them? this like a training opportunity. <laughs> That's probably a pretty diplomatic way to say that, okay, right? Okay, I, I like it. So just a little bit of texture here with just a little bit of chioga beet. We've got some honey crisp apple, also from the Okanagan. Mm -hmm. Pretty lucky, right? You get to work with the, all these awesome farmers and purveyors and everything. Delicious. And uh, managing to bring some of those people with us. A little bit of uh, micro cress. Okay. We have 10 seconds to finish. Oh, I'm under the gun. No, <laughs> Iron Chef moments are it's, happening. It's like chefs Chorizo are used sausage. to working under pressure. Oh, what are we gonna do? Well, let's do this, a little fennel pollen. And although uh, diamonds are generally a girl's best friend, we're gonna put a little bit of uh, pearl of lime. So we've got acid, we've got creamy, we've got texture, we've got all the various flavors that make the Nash awesome and amazing here in Inglewood. Gorgeous. Call that yes. breakfast here this morning. And uh, I understand that I'm up for the challenge with the pastry chef who will be on deck next, Tara. That, I, whatever it looks like, it will guarantee it tastes delicious.